Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris and today I'm hiding. <laughs> I did apply a little bit of makeup on. However, it's all about Camille today. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I did the very, like the easiest holiday inspired makeup look. And the last time I had a guest in here, I did a very, very strong lip. But for her, I wanted to do a softer look, something that does not involve any eyeliner, something that most of you can do at home. And I think that all the colors that I've used are appropriate, especially for blue eyes. So if you have blue eyes, this is going to look obviously amazing on you but it's also working for literally any eye color and i also think that this makeup works if you have a very very light skin if you're very fair uh, so i'm going to give you a lot of tips about products in this video in particular because i know that having very light fair skin tone can be a struggle before we get into it make sure that you are following Kami on her Instagram. She's gorgeous and she's Parisian. Yes. Very passionate about makeup. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Although she rarely applies it. Yeah, because I don't know how to do it, but I like product. I think I'm enthusiastic for products. So please follow her on Instagram. You have my Instagram uh, also in the description box and also my TikTok, because I'm trying to be a TikToker. <laughs> That's how you do it, right? That's how you like, do it. In the description box. <laughs> She knows the tricks. You know. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into it. I'm going to use the Augustinus Bader Serum. And this comes in this very beautiful packaging. We're going to pamper the skin a little bit. A little massage for Camille. Mm. Okay, this serum immediately got absorbed into the skin. I love it. It feels very good. It feels good, right? Yeah. Then I'm going to take the eye cream and I use about one pump. I'm doing circular motions and I'm using the ring finger, which has the least power. Wow, your skin was a pretty dry, Camille, because it it's like... <sighs> yeah, it is very dehydrated. It's a, yeah, mm. it's, it's a little bit dehydrated, but the texture of your skin is amazing. Then I'm going to mix the Augustinus Bader The Cream with the Augustinus Bader Face Oil. I mean, I do not have the rich cream, from Augustinus Bader right now but if you have very very dry skin you could use their rich cream you don't have to mix it with the oil I do my little mixture right here and I always start with the driest part of the skin which is the cheeks if you're a makeup artist, and even if you, you know, you're doing makeup on yourself, having a little massage right before you do your makeup, it will do wonders to your skin. It's not something that you should do, you know, just uh, at night or like with special occasions. It gets the blood flow and your skin will look amazing. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. The moisturizer can be uh, your primer. However, I plan to use the Fenty Beauty Foundation and it works really amazing with, uh, with their primer. I'm surprised you know about Tatcha. Mm -hmm. So you're saying you love to watch uh, videos, huh? Yeah, about makeup and skincare. But I can't do my own makeup. Like, I'm too bad. 
Right. <laughs> We're gonna apply this Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask. And by the time we get to the lipstick, her lips are gonna be very nice and hydrated. Fenty Beauty Foundation. And uh, this is normally a foundation that I would use for combination or oily mm. skin. However, it was a struggle to match her. <laughs> She's got very light skin, uh, as you can see. I, I have a lot of foundation brands and, you know, I'm lucky enough to have their whole range, like from the lightest to the darkest. Only Fenty was, yes. was the one that matched. So this is in 120. I mean, at, at the first sight, actually, we had some other brands that seemed to work, but they were oxidizing a lot. For those of you who don't know, Fenty Beauty Foundation is a very high coverage foundation. One of the reasons why I've applied quite a lot of skincare and then hydrating primer, because if you have dry skin, and let's just say you're going to apply a foundation that has a lot of coverage, um, you want to sheer it out with skincare. Mm. So as you can see, I've applied a tiny little bit and then just started to spread it. I have one pump in here and uh, I've barely touched it. The thing about foundation and why it's so hard is because we have different colors on the skin. Like for example, Camille is a little bit olive all around her mouth and also her, her neck has that olive tone, even if she has very light skin. And then on the cheeks, she's very, very pink. This is a Knit Cosmetics brush. It's super soft. It's super soft, right? Mm -hmm. It's part of a set. I think it has like four brushes and I use them all. They're amazing. Obviously she does not need a lot of coverage. I'm gonna take the Sephora 57 brush and what's left in here. I'll get it a little bit closer to the mouth. I feel like I couldn't do it with the bigger brush. So you see, even if you have a foundation uh, with a super high coverage, you could still make it work. When it comes to concealer, I'm gonna use the Jouer again. It was uh, quite the struggle to find a color that was matching. And I do have the same concealer from Fenty in the same color, 120. Believe it or not, it's too dark for her. So I'm gonna use this Jouer in the color Lace. I'm gonna spread it with the same brush, the Sephora 57. Now with this tiny little brush, this is a Spectrum NKT number 21 brush. I'm going to correct the little imperfections. I honestly didn't want to apply another layer of foundation. I'm gonna warm up the skin with the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in intensity 0 0.5 and this is um, my kit coat brush in 0 021 a little bit on the sides of the nose not necessarily to contour but just to give the, the skin a very cohesive look Cream blush from Makeup by Mario. This is in Pale Petal. I'm going to set the makeup in place using a tiny little bit of powder 
and this one is from Makeup Forever in the color 1.1 Rose Pale. So first, let's check out the concealer. It didn't increase, but you know, just in case. Then. I'm going to brush her eyebrows. I don't think I'm going to do much for it. Just a little bit uh, maybe of a brow flick. I have the brow flick in brown. I'm going to add in here a little bit of body to the eyebrows. That's it. Always brush the eyebrows first. You might find out that you don't really have to do anything other than brushing them through and maybe, you know, use a clear brow gel. Just a little bit of eyebrow gel. This is, of course, 24 hour brow setter from Benefit, my absolute favorite. I'm gonna be using this Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. If you plan to have your makeup you know, for a longer period of time. I suggest you to use an eyeshadow primer. This is a Westman Atelier brush. All the products are going to be linked in my description box as usual. I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow palette from Dear Dahlia. This is in Celestial Glow. I'm gonna take this color, it's a very warm, Get it all over the eyelid. Okay. I'll take the brush that was actually inside the palette. I think it has a great shape for the next step. Taking the same color. Can you look up for me? Thank you. And I'm taking a clean blending brush. And make sure this is nicely spread. I'm gonna take a little bit of this darker eyeshadow and apply it at the end of the eye, just to lift the outer corner. I actually prefer to do this step while she's looking uh, in front. And then I also do a very quick swipe in the crease, like so. I'm taking this color next, and usually these are being applied the best way with your finger. We're gonna try with the brush. Let me try with my finger. I think it has, yeah. When you apply foil eyeshadows or very glittery eyeshadows with your finger, it just hits different. Open. Now this is really pretty the way it is. However, 
you know, I'm obsessed with this highlighter. This is amazing. I actually have an another one that I use. This one I keep it just for display. <laughs> just to show you what it looks like new because mine has been... <laughs> tortured. <laughs> has been tortured, exactly. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> but you know, for the camera... Yeah, we, I know. We gotta be presentable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with my fingers, I go on top of it. This you guys, this is, this is like another level of shine and sparkles and I, ah. It's such an amazing product for, you know, let's just say you have a New Year's party or a Christmas party or just any party. And it looks like the, the eyelids are wet. Now, from the same palette, I take a smaller brush. Can you look up? And apply a little bit of this beautiful gold right in the center of the lower eyelids. Great. Then I'm going to take this Victoria Beckham Satin Liner. This is in bronze, and I'm going to use it on the waterline just to intensify this look. The same thing, I will apply it on the waterline of the top lashes. Yeah. That's going to intensify the eye. It's going to make them look a little bit more dramatic without taking any of the lid space. As you can see, when she opens her eyes, there's not a lot of lid space. And a lot of times I'm being asked for this particular eye shape, like how do I do the eyeliner? Of course, you can you could do eyeliner. It has to be very thin or I, I would do it very thin. Uh, however, if you want to really have those like super intense eye effect, you could use a black or a brown or a bronzy um, pencil like right on the waterline. Great. We are going to coat the lashes with mascara. And this is the Climax from NARS. Okay. Let's do a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. I'm gonna take the excess of the lip mask off. I'm going to contour the lips. You guys know I love to use contour. And this is from Kier Weiss in the color Bear. Next, I'll be using this lipstick, very, very velvety, moussey finish. It's from Dear Dahlia, and the color I'm using is Cozy. Like a, yeah, duochrome. Oh, yeah, it's not like, it has like blue she knows blue. She knows her yeah, stuff. I know. <laughs> I love how passionate you are about really? makeup, but you're not wearing a thing. Yeah. <laughs> What's missing from this whole makeup look? Actually, it's a bit more blush. <clears throat> so I'm going to apply just a pinch more blush. Sometimes blush can disappear into the skin, especially if it's a cream one. So a little bit more. 
Wait, 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 wait. Highlighter. Oh. 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 How? Oh. How did My I hurt. <laughs> This is a fantastic highlighter if you have a very, very light skin. It's the Benefit Cookie. And let me show you how beautiful this is. Yeah. And it's so buttery. Touch it. Ooh. Nice, right? Like it's not most creamy. It, yeah, it's it not. feels. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we're going to uh, spray the skin with this beautifying cream and mist from Givenchy. I'm so into this Patrick Ta face and body all over glow balm. And this color in particular, it's called She's Glossy. And I'm going to use a little bit on the shoulders. It doesn't really have a color. Honestly, it's like a, it's like a lip balm. I don't even know how to, how it to. It smells really good. Like it's a bit sugary. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. And here is a very soft look for holidays. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure that you follow Camille on Instagram. And if you guys are recreating this look, tag us both. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram and TikTok. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.